Hello, Randy Pennytuff from MyTabletLife.com bringing to you tonight the XOPC tablet. The XOPC has a 1.66 GHz Intel Atom N450 comes with 2 GB of Hynix DDR memory it has an 11.6 inch multi-touch capacitive screen uh, it's capacitive and pressure sensitive so you can touch in two different, two different ways on the side here we have the power port, micro HDMI, two USB ports, three and a half millimeter uh, headphone jack, SD card, and a SIM card slot. On the bottom, you have a speaker, some ventilation holes, the dock port, uh, for which you can get a dock, although it's uh, sometimes hard to find them. They can be gotten on the internet. Another exhaust port. A speaker, nothing on that side at all, and nothing on the top of the device except for, uh, again, another uh, fan port to help get the air out. You see the power button on the back here, and then just some descriptive labels telling you that it has Windows 7 on it, um, and some other stuff identifying the model. On the front here, you'll find a 1.3 megapixel camera. It has a light sensor in it also has an accelerometer and a GPS is an option. This device weighs just over two pounds and it has an expected battery life of about four hours. We'll move on to the software here in just a second. The XOPC runs Windows 7 Home Premium which helps make, make it a uh, very familiar device to use because it's basically the same thing that runs on uh, a lot of PCs and, and laptops. So we'll move into the Windows 7 here and as you can see it, it's just your standard Windows 7 user interface. I have a couple things that I've installed to help make things easier for myself and a couple of things that came pre-installed. Pre-installed was the ExoPC UI layer, a Skype app, the journal where you can take your notes and stuff and then a recovery image. I have a couple of extras over here that I'll talk about in a little bit. This is Windows 7 Home Premium and it is Windows 7 in and of itself. There's nothing extra added, there's nothing new to it. Um, it is nice to have on a tablet form. I have found that I use it quite a bit. Um, and I, since I'm familiar I don't have any issues getting in and out of anywhere uh, in Windows 7. So one of the issues about Windows 7 on, on this device is the fact that Windows 7 is not a touch friendly interface. So there are lots of times where I have to double tap or even triple tap, um, sometimes more based on what I'm trying to tap on. If I, because it is Windows 7, you can hide the, the taskbar just like you do on any other desktop. And I like to do that to give myself some more screen real estate, which, which is a nice feature in and of itself. But at different times, it can be very hard to tap on that bar down there making making it hard and sometimes frustrating to get to to different elements in the UI. Uh, of course you can always leave that up which causes no issue there. Um, as normal since this is Windows 7 it does come with IE. It comes with Windows Media Player on board. Um, I've installed a couple extras like uh, Chrome and Firefox just to test out other browsers and see how they are. We're going to move into the XOPC UI layer here real quick. As you can see, this is a bit more finger friendly. They've designed it to be able to hold 77 different programs per page. Uh, I have quite a few loaded on here. Not all of these come loaded up, but I've been playing with it for a little while now and I've been able to uh, load up some different apps just to see what it, what it does and how it works. These programs will run right inside the XOPC UI layer, um, so it does not go back to the Windows 7 and it stays pretty finger friendly. Um, this is just a basic digital clock here. Um, go back to the home screen here. One of the things that I found is that my daughter absolutely loves this device based on the stuff that is in the XOPC UI layer uh, app store. And I've got a bunch of icons right up over in here that are children's books and children's games. Um, and she loves to play these. And, and in fact, 
this device is so easy to use that I can just tell her go ahead and go play with it and she walks over picks it up and starts up one of these books and is off and my daughter is four years old so she for her to be able to pick it up that quick I, I think that kinda states how easy this device is to use um, and especially this layer um, here we have a page that you can put different games and stuff like that so you can create different pages in different areas uh, inside the layer this one is for tools now this version of the UI layer is the 1.0 version there was a 0.93 version that was on here uh, when I first got it and it had an audio player um, which has since disappeared and I have not found that that player or excuse me a multimedia player not a not, not just an audio player that I have not been able to find inside um, the store or anything like that so I'm, I'm hoping that's something that they're going to be working on and fixing over here off to the side you can see where I have an icon um, and this is the stuff that's running onto the side. If I want to close that, I just pull it off to the side, and that program has been closed. Otherwise, it stays running on the side. And there I went into the, the XOPC help layer. If I, and if I tap on that again, I can just open that program right back up. There you go. And go back to home. So this is nice. It makes it a lot nicer, a lot more finger friendly. Over here, if you push on this button down here in this corner, um, it will bring you back to the Windows 7 layer without closing the, the XOPC UI, uh, which is kind of a nice feature. Because this is Windows 7, like I said before, it does come with the media player, uh, Windows media player, obviously you can go out and get anything else that you want to. Real quick use of the the audio portion of that and as you can see uh, it actually doesn't sound too bad. I was actually kind of surprised. I, th I expected it to be a little bit tinny but it's not. This is uh, Big Buck Bunny which is our typical video that we play um, on tablets to get an idea uh, of how things look. This is playing in 1080. 1080p. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic on this device. I don't know how easy it is for you to tell that through this video right at the moment, but I was thoroughly impressed watching this. Uh, motion works beautifully. Sound syncs with no issues at all. Um, and it just looks good. If I bring it up, I can search forward and back with per perfect synchronization I have no issues there it does not lose um, its position I don't have any issues with audio not syncing or anything like that okay and as you can see every once in a while I'm trying to tap something something specific and and it that's where I run into problems okay go ahead and we'll back out of this real quick I have installed other programs on here. Um, one of those is Microsoft Office. I don't know how many of you use it, but I use it consistently at work. Um, I'm on it quite a bit, so it's nice to have. Um, this has allowed me to, to have this take over my, my tablet, or my, excuse me, my laptop. I don't have to bring my laptop to work anymore because I'm using this right at the moment. If I don't have a Bluetooth keyboard, I can uh, just tap on here and bring on the ups, the on-screen keyboard, which is a nice large size sc screen keyboard. It also has the ability to, to do writing as with a pen. Um, so there you go. And then you just do an insert and it says hello now. Okay. Um, all of this works really well. Don't have any issues at all with that. bring up the browser here real quick as you can see I was browsing on our site a little while ago mytabletlife.com okay brought that up and it works relatively well this is a YouTube video and we'll bring up YouTube just straight from YouTube here and it plays it nicely right inside the browser with no issue nice thing about Windows is it has flash 10.2 um, so you're the most the most updated flash that you can find, that's where it's at. 
Um, like I said before, this does come with Windows, or excuse me, Internet Explorer. Um, this is Internet Explorer 8. Of course, Internet Explorer 9 is out there. You can get that if you want to. Um, I've also installed Trillion, which is my messenger application. Um, lets me talk to just about everybody I need to. And I, I find that this becomes an easy replacement for my desktop, especially if I put it together with a wireless mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard. Um, talking about Bluetooth, that's where we're starting to get into some of the issues that I have with this device. Uh, Bluetooth doesn't turn on all the time. I've noticed if I let this device fall asleep, my Bluetooth will crash and I'll have to restart and sometimes I'll have to restart multiple times. Check it online at, their, at the XOPC forums. That is supposed to be because of an issue with SP1 and they've released a updated driver to, to help fix that. However, even after installing that driver multiple times, I'm still having issues with the Bluetooth. Um, so that is, that is one setback on this device. I also find that at times getting on to the internet, whether it be through Internet Explorer or with Chrome or Firefox, it's quite laggy at times. Um, most of the interfaces and stuff in here, I, I, on the main portion of the program, they aren't too laggy. They start up relatively quick. Um, but the, the downloading of information and stuff is rather slow. There are times that this is slow, um, just in the interface, but not very often. Another little spot of, of some lagginess is when you go to do a portrait orientation or a, a landscape. It takes it a little bit to get converted over. I've also found that at times it does get stuck. And you might have to, to move it around a couple times before it actually decides to chase, change the orientation. And my last and, and probably biggest gripe of this device is the fact that it's so heavy. It's just over two pounds. Um, and while I can read books and stuff like that on this, this device using all kinds of different programs, and, and including reading PDF files or, or what other kind of book I want to, I find that... This is not the device I want to bring to bed with me because it's just too darn heavy. I've, I've got to have something to set it on after a little while um, just to, to keep it comfortable. All of those aside, though, the, 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 those three issues that I have with the device, I find that the XOPC is an excellent tablet. It could easily replace my laptop, um, and, and then I could have a somewhat finger-friendly device um, carried around with me at all times. And if I include my Bluetooth... Uh, keyboard and my mouse and then then I'm set and and I don't need a, a laptop anymore so this does make it a little bit lighter in that regard and a little bit better in some ways um, would I recommend this device to other people yeah actually I would if you're looking for something like this if you if you want a tablet that might be able to replace your laptop this might be a very good buy um, for the most part it works very well I don't have any issues with it except for the Bluetooth and a little bit of lagginess um, and the heaviness I don't think there's a whole lot anybody can do about that just because of the type of, of tablet it is. Right at the moment, you can find this device for $6.99 on the internet and located just about all over the world. This is Randy Pennytaw with MyTabletLife.com and this was my review of the XOPC.